Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna go over a common question we get, and that is, what are leaf springs supposed to look like? The best way to tell if your leaf spring is still good is that your leaf spring is gonna smile right back at you. Now, what we mean by that is that you wanna have a constant curvature up so that it looks like a bowl. There's gonna be, there may be, depending on the style and size of your leaf spring, a little flat spot in the middle like the one we have here. That's just simply because of all the compression from this bolt holding them together. But for the most part, your leaf spring should be curved all the way through. If your leaf spring is bad, some things that you might see is either the leaf spring is starting to flatten out or you can actually have a leaf spring where it's inverted. So the uh, leaf pack where it's tied together is still in the same spot, but your leaf goes down. Now to give you an example of what a used leaf spring is gonna look like, um, you can see here the leaf spring is already starting to flatten out. And the reason that this is an issue um, is because that we're this is on a boat trailer and the boat's not even on it. If the boat were on it and it looked like this, this would be perfectly fine. But because there's no load on it, once we put this boat on top of this trailer, these springs are gonna be flat. So um, another thing to look out for is gonna be um, any squeaking, any noise coming from your leaf springs. That could be the springs themselves rubbing together, maybe because this bracket has come loose. Um, another thing is your bushings inside here, because they are nylon, um, they can go bad, they get rub marks in them. So usually we recommend if your bushing is worn out, your leaf spring is probably also worn out. So we recommend just go ahead and replacing the leaf spring rather than just swapping out the bushing. So just to give you a comparison, this is the leaf spring that would replace the leaf spring on our trailer here. So if we lined it up for reference, if we line one of the bolts up, you can see how big a difference on that other bolt of the curvature because we've got it laying flat on the bottom and we're about an inch or two, eh, like an inch and a half off of our curvature that we're supposed to have. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you to determine whether or not your leaf spring needs to be replaced. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.